Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave and welcome back to Lynn. Ah shit. <laughs> back? I don't know if I've actually read that. I think I may have, but I don't know. I stare at my crusts, my crusts stare back, slathered in butter and lemon curd. Maybe I have read this. I don't know. I've read it now. <laughs> my stomach churns. I'm sorry, Jazz. Also, I rewatched the first episode multiple times, and I keep going every when I first read Jazz. It's like Jazz, and I'm thinking, no, you idiot! It's Jazz, as in Jasmine. It's all right. I already had my revenge. What? <laughs> okay. The bread. Mm-hmm. You got that right, bitch. Okay. Jazz coils a strand of hair about her finger. She looks smug. So, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna be doing today? More studying? Oh, okay. Don't mention the S word. I guess I don't want to, but I guess I have to. Now, now! You've got your GCSEs coming up in, what, three weeks? You better get cracking. Shut up! You're not helping my stress levels here. I'm at 18% already, as you can see in that corner. <laughs> I bite into my br blah, bread crusts smeared with butter and lemon curd. The butter is sweet, oily, and fatty, while the lemon curd is sharp and sweet. It's thick. Sticky. It feels like it's clogging up my throat. Maybe I put a little too much on. Eh, maybe. <laughs> you know, Mom and Dad expect a lot from you. Don't let them down. Shut up! You're not gonna help my case right now! You see? You just made it worse! I'm already fucking 20% and I just started the game last episode. Come on, man! Give me some... Help! I feel sick. I definitely used too much lemon curd. Is it really the lemon curd? Jazz, please. What? It's the truth. Yeah, well, the truth is not good for me right now, so shut up. After I turned out... Be... When I turn... After I turned out to be such a fuck... A man... A man fucking hell. I can't word. This person's... Uh... Just slightly off on dialogue, but I can't even read it! I know what it says, but I can't read! Fucking hell! After I turned out to be such a monumental fuck-up, the least you could do is not fail at your G GCSEs. Shut up. You're supposed to be the smart one, remember? You know, you dropped out, so that automatically makes me the smart one. That's what they say, but... My voice trails off. My cheeks are smeared with toast crumbs and bits of lemon curd. I feel oily. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I swallow. There you go. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Well, you'll probably be fine. You'd have to try to do worse in your GCSEs than I did. You'd have to try to do... Okay, yeah. I said that wrong, but eh, who cares. Yeah, but it's different now. You could retake your exams. I can't. Mm-hmm. Sucks to be... Shut up! Are you my friend or not? Or sister, I guess. I think she might be my sister, actually. Jazz sounds so cheerful. It kind of makes me want to punch her. But I know I can't. Not anymore. Wait, what? We used to fight a lot when we were younger. With hair pulling and scratching, but... Now Jazz is pregnant. I feel a little guilty about slapping her. You can't hit pregnant women. You shouldn't hit pregnant women. You're not just hitting the woman, you're also hitting the child. Even if that pregnant woman is your sister. Yep! Who isn't really a woman. I don't think she is. I don't think she is anyway. She's only 19. Legally, you're a woman when you turn 18, but then again, I'm guessing this was not created by someone in America, so I don't know the laws outside of that. 
She's still a teenager, technically. Is it like 21, maybe? I don't know. 28? 50? I click my le I'd like to meet the pers- the- I'd like to meet the person who's king, queen, president, whatever word you want to use for whatever country where you don't become an adult until you're fucking 50 years old. I'd like to meet that person. I click my lemon curdy tongue against the roof of my mouth. Okay. There you go. I should probably get going. You probably should, but don't drop out of school before your exams start. Otherwise, what would be the point? Sometimes I think Jazz derives happiness from my suffering. She really is a rotten big sister. She's always been like that. She used to bully me relentlessly when we were little. She was always kicking me beneath the dinner table, hitting me with the TV remote and whispering creepy stories into my ear at night when I was trying to sleep. Stories about the boogeyman? Me no like the boogeyman. She told me Santa wasn't real when I was four. What you talking about? Santa's real? I cried. I cried a lot. And then she went to go... And then she went and got herself knocked up. And now she's so heavily pregnant... I can't argue back when she starts being a bitch because I'd feel guilty. Maybe she's smarter than her GCSE results give her credit for. Maybe? I drop my plate in the sink. It's coated with crumbs and a smear of buttery lemon. What are you going to do all day, Jazz? Watch the of course. Like Norm. Don't you ever get sick of that? Nope. Well, okay then. Apparently not. I don't like that show. I think it's mean. It's the, sh it's the sh sort of show that makes fun of people like Jazz. That doesn't make sense. The audience watches these poor, sad, broken people pour out their guts and argue with each other and break down into tears and then they laugh and cheer and applaud like it's something funny. What the fuck? That's stupid! That is really, really stupid! It isn't funny. It's real people's lives. And I hate it. Welcome to reality TV. <laughs> but Jazz doesn't seem to care. I know it's mean, but I'm not on that show. Why does it matter? What? That's a horrible way to look at it. I run my dirty plate beneath the lukewarm water and frown. It just isn't very nice. And no kidding! Says you, didn't you give that girl in your class a black eye a few months ago? She deserved it. She called you a slut. She might have been right. That's still a fucked up thing to say. Even... Right or wrong, you really shouldn't say something like that. Jazz prods her at her belly. It strains beneath her shirt like a large, obscene balloon. Oh, it's not? Well, I thought I, 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 I thought she did eat a balloon. Maybe I am a slut. Wow. This is why I can't argue with Jazz anymore. Not even when she steals my apricot yogurts. Wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa, so what 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 brand made them yogurts? Um Yo Plat Yo Plat? I don't know. Uh, anyway, she doesn't fight back like she used to. Well, she's matured more than what you give her credit for then. 
The wind tugs at the hem of my school skirt. My school skirt! I hold it down with one hand and use the other to support the straps of my beat-up old messenger bag. Okay. Okay. My bag's falling apart, and it doesn't close properly now. But I can't afford a new one. Do you have a job? I'll have to bear with it. Just like I have to bear with Jazz's hand-me-down uniforms and these old scuffed trainers. At least they're not the shoes I wore to Aunt Aunt, I guess. Aunt Aunt, it really doesn't matter. A taunt. A taunt. Taunt, taunt Shirley. <laughs> shoes I wore to taunt Shirley's first wedding. So, the one that happened ten years ago. I click my tongue against the roof of my mouth. Why am I still thinking about that dream? I don't know. It must have left an impression on me. That's rare. Yeah, I mean, dreams can do that. It's not as rare as you're making it sound. I have bad dreams on an almost daily basis. Okay, well, that's different then. But the details start slipping away the moment I open my eyes. It's definitely unusual for me to still remember. Not just the gist, but the specific ins and outs of my dreams. While I wait on platform number two at Strawberry Hill. Yep, it's definitely Brit British. At Strawberry Hill Station for my train. There are a few other people waiting, glancing alternately between their watches and the electronic signboard. Rush hour in London is never pleasant. Called it! <laughs> the trains are always packed. Okay, technically it's London, but whatever. <laughs> I hate going to school, especially with a bulky messenger bag to manipulate. Once, I hit a small child in the face with my bag when I was scrambling onto the train. Ugh. He cried, and his mother started scolding me very, very loudly in front of all those smart businessmen. What do you think you're doing, you clumsy girl? His nose is bleeding. You could have caused some serious damage. By hitting him with a fucking bag? How dumb are you? What do you have to say? I just said it. That's what I have to say, bitch. <laughs> By the end of this woman's tirade, I was almost crying too. I couldn't cry, of course, because I wasn't a little kid. People don't think it's cute when teenagers cry. They think it's pathetic. I was 13 back then. I'm even older now. I don't feel any wiser, though. That's a dumbass thing for people to think. Crying is crying. It's a human natural thing. If anybody thinks it's pathetic, then they're just assholes. My GCSEs are coming up soon. Then I'll be finished with school for good. I won't need to ride on the cramped train at half seven in the morning ever again. Unless I decide to go to college like Jazz did. Oh, so I'm in high school. I don't think I'd go to the same college as Jazz, though, because she was studying health and beauty. That's a vocational subject. Nowadays, it's super popular for women to do that. I don't know why, but... <sighs> I think Jazz is pretty good at health and beauty, especially the beauty part. Why can't you just say this in front of her rather than in your head? She knows all about getting your nails trimmed and how to curl people's hair, but Dad wasn't very happy about it. He kept banging on, saying she was wasting her life. Wow, such a supportive father. Wasting her education. We've given you we've given you so many opportunities and you just fling them back in our faces. Why can't you be more like your sister? I don't know why anybody would want to be like me. A lot of people question that. You'd be surprised. I don't want to be like me. But at the same time, 
I glance to the right. I half expect to see a giant, or not, a glint of metal taps in my peripheral vision, complete with basins, but I don't. Whoa, hi! Instead, I see a girl around my age, but not quite my age. Hello! I remember you! I know her. We're in the same form group. Okay, so it actually isn't her. We've been in the same form group ever since I started at Gray's Court School. Then who is this girl? She's a girl who looks a lot like me, with straight black hair and brown eyes. But there's more to it than that. It's the arrangement of the features on her face, and the shape of them too. So you found your doppelganger then. Her eyes, her nose, her ears, her lips. She looks so much like me, it's a little creepy. Yeah, I could imagine. She looks so much like me that Mrs. Madley, our form teacher, did a double take when she saw us in our oversized gray's court uniforms on our first day in the year in year seven. <laughs> uh, if I had a twin, I'd so totally try to mess with my teacher just to go like go in. And both of us just strategize. Okay, let's both say what's up, Teach. What's up, Teach? She's like, wait, which one's which? Oh, hi, Fred. Hi, George. Uh, that's Fred. That's George. If you can't tell what I'm referencing, that's just sad at this point. Okay, that was like half a reference to what it was, actually. She asked us in this very exaggerated tone if we were twins. Like being a twin in something special. We're not, of course. No, you're doppelgangers. Very close, though. We're not related at all. Well, we're probably related in some way if you go back far enough. Oh, she's my, um, cousins. She, she, she's my, my fourth cousin ten times removed. I don't know are so weak they'd be about 99.9 .9 repeated percent water. Blood ties would be so weak that they'd be about, wow. It doesn't help that she has the same name as me. That's what you meant. Oh, so she's Lynn too. My name is Lynn. She's called Lynn. Oh. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Okay. She's me, but a me who reached into the Scrabble box and pulled out an extra vowel. Oh my god. So she's the luckier version of you. Her name would be worth more than mine if you tried to play it on the board. Oops. Like, she's so much better than I am. Wow. I think someone has a crush. As I said last time, lesbian here! <laughs> and in a way, I guess she is. Her school bag is nice and shiny. So are her shoes. So are her shoes. Her uniforms are always ironed, and her tights never have any holes. She's like me, but better. Lynn with an E. She'll probably do better in her GCSEs than I will, too. That's a given. Lynn is really smart. Okay, you know what? Just to keep from confusion, I'm going to call you Lynn and the other Line. Well, no, because same name, so I have to call both of you Lynn. Damn it! Why? <laughs> I look at her. I look at her for a little too long, as I often do, and she lifts her head. Her eyes meet mine. Her gaze hurts. I feel like a needle is digging into the back of my skull. A short, sharp pain splits through the side of my head. Okay! I wince. I know this is going to sound petty, but... I really, really hate that girl. Why? 
What the hell did she ever do to you? Jeez. Hi! Hello! You're Peppy! Nice to meet you! <laughs> hey, Lynn! Guess what Aki brought... Guess what Aki bought me? Uh, shoes! I don't know. What did Aki buy you? Shoes! Well... Susie smiles smugly, her head resting on her hand, her elbow resting on the desk. Okay. Her legs are crossed, but she keeps uncrossing and recrossing them and adjusting the hem of her skirt. Okay. She's kind of like that. Susie's kind of like that. She's one of those girls who's lucky enough to be considered kind of pretty, despite all of her freckles. And she likes flaunting. Okay. First of all... I think that's cute generally, okay? There are very few circumstances where I don't think that's cute. Got it? Of course, I'm not including video game characters, because, I mean, come on. They intentionally make them look cute. That's not fair. And she likes flaunting it. Okay. Her face is nice, I guess. But I think her thighs are the prettiest part of her body. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. Wasn't as exciting and as weird as last episode, but hey, our stress went up to 20. <laughs> I wonder how long it's gonna take for it to get to 100. Because, I mean, we're not that far in the game. We're already here. Come on. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!